Hello Pre-K and welcome to our math unit for this week. This week you will be studying fractions. And fractions is a part of a whole. That is the definition, the meaning of what a fraction is. You take something that's whole, we're going to do it in a minute, and you break it up into equal parts. So think about it as being a great friend and sharing equal parts of something that is whole. So keep that in the back of your brain as we talk about fractions. So you have to kind of know some new words. The first one is whole. And the word whole, W-H-O-L-E, is when something is complete, it's intact, it's one thing. Half of a whole is when you divide or cut or separate the whole into two parts. Third is when you take that whole and you separate it or break it into three parts. So if I had the word fourths here, we would take that whole and separate it or cut it up into four parts and etc. So let's see what this would look like in real life. So here I have an apple. And this is a whole apple. Okay? But I'm pretending that my daughter is here and she would like some of my apple. So I want to be fair to her and I am going to cut the apple in half. One piece for me and one piece for her. So I'm going to cut my apple right in half. Pre-K. So now I have two apples. One for her, one for me. Those two come together and we have a, again, we have a whole apple. But we heard the doorbell ring and two of her friends came over and they were hungry. So we wanted to share our apple with two more people. So put it back together again. Take my knife. Remember, it's equal parts, so I'm gonna put my knife down and I'm gonna cut the apple again. And we now have four pieces of my apple. One, two, three, four. So we have fourths. Those are representations of fourths. Can we put it back together? Yes, we can. That's our whole apple again. So now I have one for my daughter, one for me, one for her friend, and the other for another friend. Okay, so we took a whole apple and we cut it up into equal pieces so that we can share equally with our friends. We broke it apart into fractions, okay? So let's see what this looks like on paper pre-K. And let's see what a fraction looks like and why it looks like that, okay? So you're going to see two squares, okay? And the question is, what fraction of the squares are purple? So we have two squares. When we see a fraction, we're going to see a number on the top, a line, and a number at the bottom, okay? So the number at the bottom pre-K tells us how many pictures we are looking at. We are looking at two squares. So the number on the bottom will be two, but only one square is colored purple. So one 
out of the two squares are purple. So our number one goes on the top because that's only the square that's purple. But since there are two squares, that number goes on the bottom. And you see that is what a fraction looks like. A number on top, line, and a number on the bottom. Let's take a look at another example. How many flowers do you see pre-K? Four flowers. Remember, the number of objects or things that we see go on the bottom. So we have four. Then our line. But how many of our flowers are yellow? One. Only one of our flowers are yellow. So we put the one on the top. That means that one fourth of the flowers are yellow. One out of four flowers is yellow. So it's one fourth. And you are going to practice looking at pictures for your math sheets this week and figuring out how many out of the whole number um, are either colored or shaded whatever the question asks of you. So those are fractions, Pre-K. Have fun this week with fractions and let me know how you're doing with them on Hi Mama. Bye-bye.